My name is uh, Dr. Burhanu Gabriel-Medin. I am uh, an agricultural economist and working as a scientist for the International Air Service Research Institute in the IPMS project. IPMS uh, stands for Improving Productivity and Market Success. And uh, today we had a dairy uh, uh, forum workshop for Ethiopia. It was held at the uh, Gion Hotel in Addis. And uh, the workshop dealt with a number of uh, uh, topics, one of which was value chain development. As you know, perhaps the value chain concept is now quite popular and many uh, development and research uh, projects are actually following the value chain development approach. So I presented a paper today at the forum that relates, that related, that tried to relate conceptually value chains and innovation systems perspectives. Uh, the key is that we can have uh, innovation along the value chain in any of the stages of the value chain. And the important thing then is when we do research or when we do development interventions, then we need to carefully analyze the value chain of a particular commodity and then also try to identify the priority problems along the value chain and then try to map an innovation system for the particular problem that we're trying to address. By mapping the innovation systems of a particular problem, then it's more likely we will be able to, to intervene in a more uh, effective way than, than intervening just in a blanket or than intervening in, in, uh, in a whole enterprise, enterprise development basis. Another concept that I tried to introduce also was this idea of commodity development versus technology development. Commodity development is more holistic than just technology development. So as we think of technology development, which is very similar to the value chain development aspect, we try to look at the constraints of the, of the commodity from the input supply, the production, post-harvest handling, transport, distribution, and consumption perspectives. And then when we do this, when we do this analysis, then of course technology can be very important, and therefore then we try to identify the particular technology that will help us address that particular problem. But in some cases, you know, I think in many cases, the problem, may, the, the key priority problem, may not actually be specifically technology related. It could be, for instance, input supply related. It could be financial support related. It could be market related, and therefore we should definitely be open-minded uh, in terms of. Uh, viewing the community development in broader sense in order to identify the specific particular problem. Uh, so I think the message that I tried to uh, pass over to participants today was actually to for, for participants to appreciate the concepts of innovation systems perspective and value chains and then for them also to realize how they can combine these two concepts to be more effective in doing research or in doing development.